You guys seem really interested in these based on the, uh, the comments. So, uh, let's talk about them. So, these right here are my Sky Zone Sky 01 goggles. They have been modified to use a Fat Shark style receiver. And if you don't really know any background on these, go ahead and click on the video. There's gonna be a link somewhere here in the description below. Um, of the video that everyone's been commenting on. And this is really just a follow-up. It's been almost two years since I built these, or hacked these, or modded these, whatever you want to call it. And they've actually still been my daily goggles. I'm considering upgrading now, but that's only because these, compared to what we can get now, the screens inside these guys are just a little, a little dated, a little dark, a little... I can't see as well at sunrise and sunset as I, as I would like to. This is the new OLED. The O stands for OLED. It's an O for OLED. OLED. But otherwise, these things are great. And I'm just gonna talk a little bit more about how they've been doing for the last two years. This mod can be done on any goggles. And I think the reason that there's a whole bunch of interest all of a sudden in these goggles is because of the Skyzone O3Os. And those are beautiful OLED panels, but they have a built-in receiver. So, not necessarily the best reception. Maybe you could use something like Rapid Fire, you know, one of those True D or something like that, and make the reception better. But this mod will work with the Sky Zones, with the Onways. The Onways are cheap now, because, you know, the company's going out of business, but the goggles are still great, and they're cheap. This can be used with the DJI system to get some analog feed in the DJI system. This could be used with maybe your old fat sharks that you want to give some new life into. Or, uh, Maybe that set of box goggles you have that has a video in. Any of those would work great with this mod. Now let's go ahead and take a little bit of a deeper dive into what these look like now. In case you guys haven't watched the other video, I'll just give a quick summary of how these are set up. Um, ignore all the stickers and signs of use because these are my daily drivers. But essentially you have the Fat Shark battery, which then connects to a barrel style connector. There's also a Fat Shark faceplate, which is modded onto these goggles. Um, and that takes the standard plug. I know all the newer goggles are doing away with that, but that's how the goggles used to be. Um, once you connect in the barrel connector here, power is sent over to the module, and you can see here that the Achilles firmware loads, and we're all set up there with diversity. Uh, but before we continue there, the barrel connector then sends power to what's actually wrapped up down here. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see it, but there is a voltage converter which steps down uh, from the 2S battery to five volts. There's also, if we can get focus here, there's also a capacitor. So that what that capacitor does really is just clean out the video signal. That step down 12 volt to five volt thing adds a lot of noise in the video, and the capacitor just helps clean it up. Then we run the wiring, it's kind of a little mess here because it's used again, but we use this stuff called Suguru. Um, I'll link that down below. Basically to cover up the wiring and connect the faceplate. And that comes around essentially to these, these wires over here. Um, there's a power wire which runs into the module. There is a video wire right over here. We'll dig into that in a minute. And then what I also did was I uh, I put a nut, I hot glued a nut on the inside of the housing so that it has a more solid mount to the housing. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. So what I'm first going to do is just, uh, actually let me power this thing down first. That's my patch antenna, far view. I love this thing by the way, great, great reception. Then we just have an Omni, um, nothing specific to say about this, I change this around once in a while. Okay, we take those off. And there is the module. You can see the controls from the module are here, and the wiring runs in right over here. So, what we're first gonna do is take out this. This is the audio out on the Sky Zones. It's actually just a dead connector. I plan to use set up a headphone here, but I never did, so that's that. And then we have the video in which is this connector. I'll, uh, I'll try to post a link down below. I just found this guy on eBay. And then we just have a 
the connector here for the power. It's a two pin JST connector. Come on, focus. So there we go, it's a two pin JST connector. And then we have this little thumb screw. It's just like a pretty standard computer thumb screw. And you pull that out. And the module is now free. So the goggles are really unmodified, except for if you look right there, I drilled a hole, I opened up the housing, and I just hot glued a nut inside there. So that was nice just to kind of improve the, the attachment of the module to the goggles. And then, over here you can actually see the actual module piece. Now if you look inside, there is a small piece of foam there just to help it sit better. Um, there's the wiring. Uh, if I can get this guy out. Which I kind of just hot glued there so it stays permanently. But if you want to see the actual details of the wiring, I'll, uh, I'll throw them up on the screen, but they're also in the previous video. But it, the, essentially all you need to feed in is positive 5 volt, ground, uh, and then take the video signal out from the module. Um, you can also take audio signal out if you want. I have that in here, but it's not necessary. Um, on the other end, you have this type of thing, which you don't have to use this one. I just use an L bracket just because it's a little bit nicer. Um, it sits more flush on the goggles. But to get that off, you undo this little screw, and then that unscrews. And it's basically a, you know, a standard connector there for the video. And I don't know if you can really get in there because I have everything kind of tightened up. But essentially you just solder the wires inside of there, put this guy on top, and you are all set. Uh, the modules do have a mod the module does have a modification here just for uh, to get OSD. That's something specifically to the East Sheen Pro 58 and the Achilles firmware. You don't need that for other modules. Now to talk a little bit about the construction of the housing. Essentially, the bottom of the housing, this part right here, is a piece of plexiglass that I just cut up with a Dremel to, to fit there. This part, this section here, uh, focus, yep, yeah, that section right there is actually a 3D printed piece um, that I was able to buy specifically for this module to fit into fat sharks. And then the rest of the housing essentially was just kind of like a store card or a credit card. You can kind of see a bit of the writing from what it used to be inside there. There's just a store card credit card that I just cut out and shaped to kind of fit the shape that I needed. Then I put all of it together with a product that's like a silicone moldable glue called Suguru. And I'll put a link down to that product below. It's pretty awesome. I'll put it all together, sanded it, and it's not perfect, but it's good enough to do the job and then I painted it. Uh, some of the paint is worn off, you can see from use, but uh, overall it does the job. There's also, I think, some random metal bracket that I used there just to help hold it on. That's not really necessary, but uh, I was just trying to make it as secure as possible. And that's really it, guys. Uh, while I put the goggles together, I just want to talk to you about really the purpose of this mod. The point of this mod is so that um, you can really put any receiver you want on any goggles you want. Uh, as long as the goggles have a video in, the standard signal that comes out of a Fat Shark receiver is composite video, composite component, whatever it's called. It's just old school analog video um, that really like your VCR could use or like the Super Nintendo, Nintendo, anything that fed into your TV, like all that signal is the same as long as you just have to match like NTSC and PAL. Um, as long as you, you know, the thing sending out signal is NTSC and thing receiving signal is NTSC or you know, same thing with PAL, it'll all work. So all you have to do is just take that video signal, provide the right power, and you're good to go. Um, I would love to hear your comments. Uh, I would like to see what projects you guys have done with this type of mod. What goggles have you modified to improve the reception or change the reception? Or maybe have you taken your DJI goggles and added analog capability to them? I would love to hear about it. Why don't you guys tell me down below? And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks, see you in the next one. Oh, oh, and uh, one more thing, I, I finished putting them back together, so they're, uh, they're good to go, and I can fly, so just reconnect that, and check it out, there is the Achilles firmware coming right back up, ready to go, and we got some, uh, what can you see in there? Well, there's no drone powered up, but there's static in the goggles uh, from the receiver, so that's it.
See you guys out there. Fly safe.